Hi everyone, welcome to the start of a new weekly reading vlog. So it is currently Monday lunchtime and I've obviously been working all morning and kind of just cracking on with emails and everything like that. Um, it is a bit of a weird day because like the whole kind of world situation, especially in the UK, is feeling a bit doom and gloom. So I'm in a bit of a strange mood. If you've been following me on Twitter, which is at Bookbell Reads, and on Instagram at Lisa Richardson, you will know that I've not been posting about books recently, like the books I'm reading and stuff. And that's because I'm in a bit of a reading slump, which really sucks because I read six books in the month of August and my TBR for September was so ambitious. And maybe that's why I just put myself in a reading slump. So I've only read one book so far in September and it's currently the 20th. I don't know what date it is. That's kind of a worrying, a worrying thought as well. It is the 21st. Cool. But I am on to my second book and that is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I'm on page, let me get my page up. I'm on page 243 of that book. So I'm halfway through and I am really enjoying it. But I think I thought I would be like hooked. Like I thought I'd be really addicted to this book and rush through it. Sadly, that's not been the case. So I wanted to start this reading vlog and basically hopefully inspire me to finish that book, pick up another one. And hopefully by the end of this week, I'll be able to, you know, be halfway through my third book of the month or something like that. That'd be like the dream situation. Anyway, it's currently almost 1pm. So I am getting hungry. I need to just get a walk outside. I need to just get some fresh air because like, just in a very particular headspace and just need to kind of you know clear my head a bit so i'm gonna go for a walk eat my lunch and then probably read red white and royal blue for a bit so i'll check in with you guys probably at the end of the day when i'm kind of hopefully a little bit more positive and a little bit more in the reading mood um, and I will tell you guys what my initial thoughts of Red, White and Royal Blue are later. So hi everyone, checking in. It is Monday evening and I finished work probably a few hours ago. Um, and I'm just actually about to have dinner. But I was sitting watching Gilmore Girls because my brain is just so zapped that I've just like not felt like reading. So this has basically been the story of my life for the past two weeks. Basically the whole of September I've kind of felt like this where... I just, I don't know, like reading, my brain isn't kind of linking up reading with relaxing, which is a bit strange. I don't know if you guys have that as well. But the purpose of this reading vlog is hopefully to get myself out of that mindset. Um, so as I said, I'm about to have dinner, so I won't be reading anytime soon. But I wanted to just say that I will be reading, hopefully, some more of Red, White, Red, White and Royal Blue before bed tonight. After we eat dinner, I think we're probably going to watch a bit of Netflix. Um, we're watching the Challenger documentary on Netflix, which is really interesting so far. And it's kind of like a thing I didn't really know much about, but it's fascinating. Um, and then I do want to just kind of like hold myself away in the bedroom and try and get as much of this read as possible. I also said I would update you guys on what I'm, on how I'm feeling about it. I'm really enjoying Red, White and Royal Blue so far. I really like the characters. The characters are so brilliantly done, but I, I don't know, something's not really clicking for me. And I don't know if that's just because I'm in this reading slump and any book just wouldn't click for me, but I am looking forward to properly getting stuck in tonight and hopefully getting a good like 50 pages read or something i'll keep you guys informed but so far i would probably give it like a 3.5 maybe four stars if it just really picks up but we will see what happens hi everyone it is tuesday morning and i've been at work for probably about two hours now or something it is definitely a busy day but i've just made myself a nice coffee in my l mug which i love um, and I'm just trying to crack on as much as possible. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys a bit of a reading update because, yeah, no reading was done last night. And I don't know, I feel like this is going to be a bit of a fail of a reading vlog. We will see. Um, I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's just the state of the world right now. If you're in the UK, you will know it's all a bit crazy with um, that little old pandemic going on. So anyway, as I said, it's a Tuesday morning. 
Um, it's going to be a busy, busy day and I really need to crack on. So I am hopefully going to be reading this lunchtime. We do need to kind of get some bits from the shop. So I do need to go out and I need to factor that into my lunch hour as well. Um, so yeah, I will let you guys know when I do manage to read some pages, but I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just not reading and yeah it's really really fun but i thought it'd be better to film it so you guys know that i'm in, in a reading slump and you know maybe you're in the same boat so if you are i'm sorry we're going to get through this together Morning everyone, it is currently Wednesday and I am and I have started work probably about an hour ago or so. Um but I just wanted to give you guys a quick reading update because I did manage to read a little bit before bed last night. So I'm now on page 307 of Red, White and Royal Blue, which is actually picking up a lot for me, and I do think it's a really, really sweet read. It's not blowing me out the water like I thought it would, but it's still like a really sweet lovely romance so i'm really enjoying it and i'm kind of like 100 pages less than that away from the end so i'm really excited to finish that and then move on to something else which i don't know what i'm going to start next but um i will bring you guys obviously along when i decide my next read um but yes yeah, so just to quickly fill in that i am reading again and this is very very exciting So it's a bit later on, on Wednesday evening, and we've just had dinner. And before that, I actually read quite a lot of pages of Red, White and Royal Blue. So I'm quite near the end now, which is amazing news. And I'm very, very like pleased about that. The book is definitely picking up a lot, which I'm really pleased about as well. Um, I think I could finish it tonight. I'm going to be bold and say that, which I'm very, very excited about, actually. Because initially, it was definitely a case when I started this reading vlog that I kind of was a bit nervous because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to even finish one book, let alone, you know, get through and start a second one. So we will see what happens. I could actually finish one book and then get a good way through a second book. But anyway, what I'm doing now is actually reheating some apple crumble that I actually made on Sunday. I was definitely feeling quite autumnal. And I saw on Kira, as in Kira Foster's channel, that she baked a apple and I think it was blackberry crumble and that just kind of inspired me and I wanted crumble after that so that's what I did. Um, I'm currently heating up the custard and it just all smells amazing. So this is exactly what I wanted like midweek in a very like on a very autumnal rainy day. Um, yeah, perfect. So I'm going to eat this crumble now and try and finish off red white and royal blue and i'll let you guys know if i manage to do that hi everyone just checking in um i've just finished red white and royal blue and oh my god did i love the ending so much i just oh my god it was so sweet and just so lovely and i'm just yeah it's made me really really like happy and just all cheery. I must say the middle definitely sagged for me and I don't really know why, but I think it definitely picked up towards the end and I really loved the ending. I'll probably give this like four stars or maybe 4.5. Um, I just, yeah, I thought it was a really, really fun book and I don't know why it took me so long to read. I don't know why, 
like I'm not saying this put me in a reading slump but like I was in a reading slump whilst I was reading this and it kind of maybe altered my kind of enjoyment of the book especially in the middle but I'm happy to say I finished the ending and such a good ending such a good ending so now I'm all happy and it's just the cutest book ever if you've not read this book yet guys you have to read it if you are in the mood for a really cute romance this is just perfect in terms of what book I, i'm going to read next the next book on my tbr is actually the poppy war by rf quang yep so the poppy war by rf quang i am very excited to read this i've heard incredible things from just about everyone on booktube and just the book community in general so I have heard this is quite heavy, quite dark. And to be honest, I'm kind of in the mood for that after kind of a fluffy romance read. I kind of would like some fantasy now. So I'm very excited to start The Poppy War. I'll start that tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually my last day of work for the week because I booked Friday off, which is proving to be the best decision because now I can just read The Poppy War all day. Anyway, enough from me tonight. I'm gonna go to bed because I am shattered. Hi everyone, so it is Thursday morning. Well, it's just turned Thursday afternoon. It's just turned half 12. Um, I'm feeling so much more kind of like with it today and a lot more kind of like positive, which is a good start. Um, this week has just been like a crazy busy, weird one. And yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm out of that headspace. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm just about to finish work. Just about to start my lunch break. Um, and today is my last day of work for the week, which I am very jazzed about because it means tomorrow I'll be doing all the reading. I also need to do a few house bits because, you know, we've been in this flat for two, oh, it'll be two months exactly today, um, which is insane. But I still need to do like a few bits. Like we haven't hung curtains up. We haven't like, I don't know, decorated, put stuff in the walls, etc. So I want to kind of um, do that this weekend, kind of make, you know, the house all nice for autumn. So there you go. That's the plans. I also am going plant shopping on Saturday. I am buzzed because we need a lot of plants in this place. We need just some life. So um, that is the plans for the weekend. Quick book update. I'm going to go over to my bedside table because last night before bed, I actually managed to read some pages of The Poppy War and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm glad that so many people have recommended this to me because I've been seeing it everywhere and now I'm really really glad that I started reading it because I think it has the potential to be a new favourite. On page nine so we're really far into the property war. This is I think it's over 500 pages it is how many pages are you property war? 527 pages so quite big. This is a little outfit of the day. What do you guys think of my new boots? Um, I saw these basically over on an Instagram called Steffi's Instagram and I basically fell in love. They're from ASOS. In fact, most of this outfit is from ASOS, but I don't know. What do you think of the boots? They're very, very autumnal and quite big, but I'm going to wear them for my little walk today. Morning everyone, it is Friday morning and I read a fair bit of The Poppy War last night, I just didn't fill you guys in. So I'm on page 35 of The Poppy War, really really enjoying it so far. Um, it is definitely quite pacey at the beginning which I really appreciate because I get a bit terrified of large books that just aren't very pacey. So this is definitely kind of, you know, picking up and it's quite a fast moving book, especially right at the start. I don't know how it'll be kind of as I go on, but I'm really enjoying it so far. So I got up quite late today. It's actually 11 a.m. and I'm leaving bed for the first time. What can you do? It's my day off. 
uh, I'm just making some porridge because I thought that would be like really autumnal and quite cozy. So yes, making some porridge for the first time all year, making a cup of tea and we're just going to have a lovely chilled day today. Like I have no plans apart from doing a food shop, very exciting. And um, that's about it. Just chilling, just reading. May film a video, depends how I feel, but I'll keep you guys in the loop and I will be reading more of the Poppy War with my breakfast and I'll let you know how I'm finding it. in it is friday afternoon it's almost i think it's like half three maybe even 20 to four so i have not filmed today at all really but we have basically done a big food shop which is good and i wanted to clean the house but the hoovers just died on me so that's not going to happen for a while so instead i'm going to read more of the poppy war because i'm just like as i said really really intrigued by the first few chapters and I think I mentioned I'm on page 35 and the pacing is amazing so far. So I'm going to just sit down and read some more of this um, and then who knows how far I'll get today. It is of course Friday and hopefully, I don't know, I don't think I'll be able to finish this by the weekend because it is quite a chunky book as you can see. But hopefully by the end of September, which is next Wednesday, I think. So yeah, October starts next week, which is very, very exciting. Um, and hopefully I should be able to finish this by the end of September. That's what my hope is. Anyway, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to read. I might make myself a cup of tea because, you know, I need the reading fuel, definitely. So that is going to be the plan for this afternoon. Hi everyone, checking in for my final reading update of this reading vlog. Um, it's been a bit of a lazy day, let's just say that. As soon as we kind of got in from getting, you know, food and stuff for the week and running errands and everything, I just wanted to just curl up into a ball and read. And that's exactly what I did all afternoon. It was lovely. I'm now on page 107 of The Poppy Wall, this one. I am loving this book so much. Like, oh my God. I, the funny thing is, like so many of my favourite people on BookTube kind of recommended this and absolutely loved it. So I shouldn't be that surprised that it is so good. But I didn't expect to enjoy this book so much because usually more military, you know, kind of fantasy books just aren't really my thing. Um, but this features kind of like a school setting. So... She's in this academy, this like military academy, and it is kind of inspired by like Chinese um, history and kind of mythology. And it is fascinating. Like the main character, Rin, is unlike any character I've read in a very, very long time. It is definitely getting quite dark, like the things that Rin is putting herself through to basically just stand out and make herself like top of the class and stuff is quite extreme. And there are some scenes that have kind of made me feel a little bit like, oh my God, this is quite intense. But I am really enjoying it and I'm really intrigued about where this book is going to go. So I'm just like, I don't know what's going to happen next. The world is on the brink of another war, the third poppy war, hence the title. And I think obviously our main character Rin is going to play a big part in that. But that is the end of this reading vlog, I'm afraid. I really wish I could finish 
like keep recording and just like finish this book off just to show you guys like if I like it or not but it is the end of Friday so I'm gonna end this weekly reading vlog. To summarise I finished Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston and of course I got 100 or so pages into The Poppy War. So all in all that is about 300 pages because I started off Red, White and Royal Blue at around the 200 page mark so all in all I've read you know about like 300 pages which if you think about it 300 pages in five days isn't great but it is a work week and it has been a week let me just tell you guys that it's been one of those weeks but this is the end of the reading vlog and i'm really really pleased that i've managed to finish a book and also start one of my most anticipated books in the poppy wall so let me know if you want a review on the poppy wall when i do finish it um i just want to talk about it basically and I know I'm so late to the party. All you guys who've read it already will be like, literally, how late to the party is this girl? But seriously, I don't know why. I just thought it wasn't really my thing and I've been proven wrong. So there you go. So guys, we have come to the end of this reading vlog. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly bookish videos. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you next time in my next video, guys. Bye.